All right. Hi, everybody, and uh, welcome back. So now today we're ready for our next step. Last time we did a different variation on the emojis. We did an overlay of the emojis, and the first time we did that replacement. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a minor mode. Um, so just as a quick review, uh, we have our emoji list, everything that we, you know, the emojis that we're going to set. Um, and then we have this code that will replace the text with an emoji. And that just uses normal, you know, like, killing and yanking and inserting, you know, normal stuff. And then the, the overlay version using the text properties. And we saw that we could use hooks to make it happen automatically. Now, um, in Emacs, what a mode does, when you, when you start a mode, um, a mode just brings certain functionality into whatever you're doing in Emacs. And in Emacs, normally you start, you might be in fundamental mode, which doesn't do a whole lot. Or you might go into, I do a lot in org mode, and so there's a lot of things that happen differently in org mode. Or if you're in a programming mode, like C mode for C programming, or uh, closure mode, or list mode, whatever mode you're in, it adds a bunch of things um, you know, to Emacs automatically as a bundle, so you're not sitting there like running random functions like uh, turn on the C indent code, and turn on the syntax checking, and turn on this, and turn on that. You can just say, I want to go into C mode, and it'll set all of those things up for you. Um, likewise, you can have modes load automatically. So if I load a .c file, it goes into C mode, a .py file, Python mode, etc. Now, to, wait, to make a minor mode, we use define minor mode. And um, let's just look at the documentation for this. So we'll see that for defining a minor mode, we give it the name of the mode, uh, then we give it a doc string, and then we give it um, a bunch of keywords. And we're not going to use a lot of the keywords, but let's just go through some of them here. Let's see if it's true. So global, whether the mode should be buffer local or not, normally it's buffer local because we just want this buffer to be in this mode, not everything we're doing. Um, the initial value. Um, the initial value of the modes variable, normally it should be nil. Uh, but the modes variable is, if I'm defining a mode, so let's do it right here. Let's say we're making emoji replace mode. It's going to create a variable called emoji replace mode, and that's going to be true when we turn the mode on and nil when we turn the mode off. So we can use that to see if the mode is on or not in other parts of our program or even in here. And normally it starts out as nil, but we could specify a, a different value here. Lighter, what the lighter is, is this is what's going to appear in the mode line. So let's actually do that one. And they're going to make this space ER for emoji replace. And the space is so that there'll be a space in front of it. Um, key map, if there's going to be key bindings to this mode, we're not going to do this here, but we're going to use key bindings in another mode that we'll use, uh, that we'll write in a future edition for another project we're going to work on. Um, interactive, should it be an interactive um, command or not. Uh, variable. So. If you don't want to use the default variable name as the variable you get to see if the mode is on or off, like here our mode is going to be emoji replace mode, and so that's going to be our variable that we'll be able to use to see if our mode is on or off, we could give it another name. I haven't used that. Um, and an after hook, and then there's the body. So let's actually write this mode. It'll be pretty straightforward. Basically, we want to do is we want to, if we're, if we're going, if the mode is being turned on, and as it turns out, the mode gets turned on, the variable gets set to true before this code is run. I mean, and I've just determined that from experimentation. I should really look at the source code to make sure. Um, so if we're going into emoji replace mode, we're going to add the hook. And it's going to be the same as we did before. And why don't we do emoji replace insert? You know, just, just because. And it's the same code that we did before. It's just now we're doing it when we enter the mode. And 
Otherwise, if the mode you replace mode is not true, if it's nil, we're coming out of the mode, we're going to want to remove our hook. And that should basically do it. Um, so let's, whoops, let's close this all up. Let's save everything. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, we could just evaluate this buffer, or we could even just do load file. Like if this is just an ELISP file somewhere, we can load the file, and that'll run everything it looks like. Did it not like lighter? Um, let me see about running this one manually. Oh, um, no, that should be okay. Right, 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 right. I forgot my doc string. Uh, fill in the doc string later. Uh, so, oops, so I forgot that. So now let's try to load the file again. And then it loaded everything. And so, for example, if we want to look at the, um, the variable um, emoji list, it's all defined for us. Um, uh, so everything is good to go. And now if we do things like typing in whale, nothing will happen because we're not in our emoji replacement. But if we do um, escape x emoji replace mode, now we've enabled the mode, and notice now it says ER over here. Minor mode is where we're in the emoji replace mode. And now our whale gets replaced, or our dolphin. I don't know if we have dolphin. Um, I don't know who we have up there. Why did the whale stop? Why did the whale stop going? All right, so anyway, I have to look into this a little bit more, but if we turn off the mode, the mode, notice that disappears. Turn it on. Not sure why it didn't do it before, what that hiccup was, um, but that's the basic idea. Um, so now we have this as a mode. And again, I want to, oh, yeah, well, it may have something to do with um, having the wrong function there, but that shouldn't have made it not work because of the, the hook removal. Um, but that's the basic idea of adding the mode. So it just lets us put the functionality in into the standard way for Emacs doing it. And we still have some work to do on this. So we have to do a couple of things. The first thing we have to do is we have to have a way of selecting, do we want to use the insert or do we want to use the overlay? Um, and we're gonna deal with that in the next video. And that's gonna also get us into how do we configure these things? You know, like, like how do we make this set up? We're gonna make this to a package for someone that they can configure it um, in a reasonable manner um, and set everything up. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back again next time.